Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, Just a huge thanks to everybody that's following me, everybody supporting my journey. And um, just a huge thanks to any of my family members and friends that watch my channel and the fact that you don't mock me. Because unfortunately, over the last few weeks, um, I have been seeing posts that are some Facebook groups that I'm on um, and some conversations I've had over on Instagram that people are being mocked for budgeting or are scared to share their budgeting journey with their family for the fear of being mocked for it, for doing it. Um, now, I want to say, please, 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 if you are in that position where people are laughing at you for budgeting, please try and ignore them because honestly, you're only doing this to better yourself. You're only doing this to get yourself um in a better position for your future and for any events that may happen um, and I know that my family are so supportive of the fact that I now have money and I can do things rather than relying on other people to do things for me or even worse to not be able to attend things because I can't afford it um, or putting myself in debt to be able to afford things was the other thing that I used to do so yeah I am so thankful that I have had nothing but um, positive responses to my journey from my family my friends people that know me um and even like the people in the post office i live in a small village and so when i'm going in with all my parcels from etsy they're asking why i'm sending so much stuff obviously they're noticing the envelopes all that kind of stuff um and i've had nothing but support from there too i haven't told them really my name and stuff although they could find out from my stickers but i don't i haven't gone into too much detail but again so much support from people uh, there as well so if you are in a position where you are getting, feel that you're getting judged or feel that people will laugh at you or feel that you won't get the support from your family, please still carry on with your budgeting journey. Please um, make the make your money work for you um, because it's the best thing I've done in the last 14 months, honestly, to have money. You know, as you know, I'm going away for a week um, next week with my parent, my mum, with not my parent, um, and I am going to be able to finance that myself. Obviously, it's a joint venture, so mum will pay stuff and I'll pay stuff, but to be able to go away and I'll be able to treat her to the spa day, um, go to Turkish baths, have dinners out, have cocktails, you know, that kind of thing. Be able to do that and pay my own way without relying on my mum to have to pay things. It really just means so much to me because there has been times in the past where... Um, we've done things and I've either got myself into debt to um, to join her and not said anything or I've told her I can't afford it and she's paid for it which I'm entirely grateful for but I don't like being in that position obviously your parents get older and you want them to have money for their future um, because you know obviously as you get older and you retire and all that kind of stuff so yeah I don't want to be in a position where I'm relying on my parents to bail me out of things but yeah, so we are going to budget for the second week of March, which is week 11 of the year, would you believe? How crazy. It's just going past so fast, especially when you think there's only 52 weeks of the year. You know, we're already on coming into week 11. For anybody that watched my last video with my um, closeout budget, whatever it was, I made a mistake. I have added it in now. I have changed that total. So the sinking funds are in there that come out here. So I'm not that £200 short. So I am expecting to have £589, um, 56 pence to roll over. Um, Obviously, I'm not expecting any other money to come in, but you never know. You might get a sale on, on my other sort of uh, side hustles that I do. Um, I don't take any money in from Etsy for a wage, so I won't have that. But, you know, there um yeah so you never know but i'm not expecting any other money to come in i am going to bring in 79 pence from etsy the etsy business and that is to pay for the apple storage for my phone because this is what i use to make my videos and if i don't sometimes i use videos and post them like i don't paste them immediately so we are not expecting well we will be using sinking funds but i don't know how much so I'm just going to put zero in there and then when I come to do my actual closeout, I'll put exactly the amount in, that I've used in there. But I do expect to have to use a good couple of hundred of my sinking funds, let's be honest. I am going away for a week. Um, so there is that. So in total, I am predicting 59035. 
So obviously I know that I'm going to be using 220 of my sinking funds to cover the spa after morning. Um, but obviously I will be using money for meals out, for drinks, for travelling. Although I, I'm going to put £100 out of my fuel. We'll probably need more than that. You know, and things like that. And I am going out for lunch um, with, you know, just I am meeting people while I'm away. So, uh, yeah, I will need some extra sinking funds. But we'll just put them as nothing. I'm rambling, sorry. So anyway, in total we have £590.35. And the Apple storage is the only bill that is due to come out this week. So that is £79. So we will just deduct that again, which leaves £589.56. So obviously, move this laminator out of the way. Obviously, um, I am going to use sinking funds, but I've not got any at the moment. But I am going to be using, um, oh, I'll just write them in, but I'm going to be using Mother's Day Challenge because that is there. I will be using my birthday money and there will be others I will use while I'm away. But just so that you know, but I'm, I don't know how much I'll use of them. So we'll just put them at zero for now. So we still have £589.56. I'm going to put £10 over to Hyperjar for um, extra card payments. So that will leave me with five. I'll just deduct it here. 0.79 minus five, eight, five, five, seven, nine, fifty-six. And then I am going to put £50 over, I've decided, because I did this already, just to make sure that my budget worked, I would put £50 over into my sinking funds. So let's have a look and see what sinking funds I'm going to use. So I've decided that I'm still going to do my car insurance and my um, car tax. I was going to sort of drop them for this week, but I think I'll still do them. Um, I'm not going to put anything into Bank of Mum this week, um, but I will... Obviously, still need to get that up to a thousand. Five pound is going over to the vet, no matter what week we're in. Five pound is always going over to vet because she needs to make sure that she is covered. Oh, my apologies. Quite early on a Friday morning here, so dog groom is going to get five just to kind of top that up a little bit. Beauty is going to get five again. I've had my nails done, as you can see. So we need to start topping that up again. A weekend away is not going to get anything because I've got £200 in there. Um, so there isn't really much point in adding to that when I've got other envelopes that I can use from. Gifts is going to get five because I do have a birthday at the end of the month. Treats isn't getting anything. Electric isn't going to get anything this week. I had one week off because obviously I've put the £200 in. And then I will still get another um, voucher for £67 for the last payment that we get. So um, I'm okay for electric for this week, but I'm going to make sure I top it up while I've got the this big payment because it won't last that long. I'm going to put £10 into eating out and I'm going to put £5 into gifting. Now this £5 is going towards my uh, family member going off to South America. So that's the gifting as opposed to gifts is for presents. This is for sort of a charity kind of giving as such so that should all add up to 50 pounds so let's have a look so we've got 15 pound in annual and we have five pound in long term we've got five pound in mid term i've had somebody ask why grooming is dog grooming is in mid term because that's um like every three to four months that I will dip into that house and furniture, I suppose really is long term, but I was kind of hoping to be using them um, a little bit more regularly than I am. Uh, £5 going into short term, so that's ones that I kind of use every month. And then we've got £20 going into variable, so they are ones that I can dip in and out of all of the time whenever I want to. Um, so obviously we've got gifts, you just don't know when they might need a gift, if somebody could have a baby, somebody could equal leave, you might need money to um, give to a, a leave and do, or, you know, anything like that from work. Um, treats, I could just decide I want a treat at any point. Electric, obviously I need that regularly, eating out, I go out once a week. And then gifting, 
Um, yeah, I suppose that could probably be in midterm because it won't be something that I won't be doing all the time and I won't be adding it all the time. But anyway, we'll there with that. So let's just check that this add up to 50. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50. So we'll deduct that from our total, which gives us 51956. So now I am going to go into my cash envelope so originally i had thought of not putting any into my spending and miscellaneous however um i'm only putting 10 pound into my groceries so i thought well just in case i go over on my groceries which i shouldn't because i shouldn't really need anything um but i want to have money for when i come home in groceries to be able to buy like milk and whatever just to go see me through anything that I might need but for miscellaneous I get terrible 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 heartburn at the minute um so I want to have that money in there just in case I need to buy a uh, in addition to tablets heartburn tablets um anything like that and then just it just gives me that little bit extra um just to play with and to be just to be secure um and then if I don't use it I don't use it and it's not a huge issue so we'll deduct 120 away which leaves 399.56 and then i am going into my savings challenges so i'm going to put 15 pound into monthly and then i'm going to put five into me time now the reason i'm only putting five into me time is just because i don't feel like it needs to be done you know finished quickly um and also just to kind of even it out a little bit because I put five pound in last week, which I did find where that five pound went, um, so that it was ten pound, but I just didn't take enough out of the bank, and then I put um, I had put in that I was going to put five pound into I was ten pound short taking out of the bank, but then I had put in that I was going to put five pound into dog groom, which I actually ended up not doing, so that was where the five pound that I was left with came from. Um, if I'd put it into dog room, I would have had nothing left for the me time challenge on my last video. So if you haven't watched that, you'll not know what I'm talking about. But if you have, you'll know um, that I my cash stuff in last week. So I'm going to put twenty pound into um, my challenges, and obviously the penny challenge. And it won't be Mother's Day, will it? It'll be because um, we'll have emptied Mother's Day. It will be Easter. When is Easter this year? Is it April? I might get something. I don't really buy much for Easter anyway, so I'll probably get like my boyfriend and um mum and dad an Easter egg, but that's usually about all I get for Easter, so I won't need much in there. But yeah, so Easter, many challenges and Easter will be the challenges that will come from any change in here. Uh, I don't think I went through this, but yeah, I've got £100 for fuel because obviously I'm not working, but I have, um, I've got lots of traveling to do next week so i want to make sure that there's plenty there um i think i'll probably get two fuel tanks out of that or neither near about anyway fuel tanks out of that so um we're left with 379 pound and 56 pence so there we are so that is our budget for next week i said not very exciting um but as i said it's just there's no bills and i wasn't going to put it into sinking funds but i thought no just keep on when we've got a little bit in the budget to do so um and then i just wanted to point out this quote as well um if you can read it it says budgeting isn't about limiting yourself it's about making things that excite you possible so i would never be able to go away with my mum for this week and be truly excited to do it because i would always have had in the back of my mind what am i going to struggle with what am i going to struggle to pay when i come home what am i um what credit cards can i add to you know because you've always got that one credit card that's kind of needing the limit so you're kind of like right which one's got the lesser on it and can i put how much can i put on each one um i have been away before and i've had a list of that i had 50 pound left on this credit card i had 30 pound left on that credit card, and i've had a list on my phone as to how much was on each credit card so that i could make sure i didn't obviously get um the card didn't get rejected but you know it was it was a nightmare so yeah i'm so happy to find budgeting and be able to do this but yeah i'm just rambling now for the sake of rambling I haven't talked to anybody today if, unless you didn't know us <laughs> so take care have a lovely lovely weekend you may not hear from me 
no, I'll need to do my cash stuffing on Sunday, won't I? Um, and my clothes out. So yeah, you'll hear from me next week because I'll post the videos that I make on Sunday next week. But you probably won't get a budgeting video with me until next Sunday for the following week because, um, yeah, I just won't be here. I'll try and keep you all updated on Instagram as to what I'm up to and what I'm doing and all that kind of stuff. Um, if anybody's interested. But yeah, so I'm really, really looking forward to it. So today's Friday. I go away Monday morning. Um, and yeah, it's just so exciting. Like my itinerary is just very busy, but very relaxing at the same time. So I'll get to see my brother and his family on the Monday night. And then meeting, I've got to do some stuff with my mum in the morning. And then I'm meeting a fellow budgeter hopefully all being well as long as that we can pull it off um for lunch on the tuesday which i'm really excited about um and then i'm meeting with a friend that i used to live with and uh, used to be friends with still friends with what am i talking about i'm meeting with a friend that i used to like pal about with when i lived in newcastle that's what i'm trying to say um we're still very very close still keep in touch so um we're going to meet her my mum knows her as well so we're going to meet with her um on Tuesday evening, her and her husband, so I really can't wait for that because I don't get to see them very often. I did see them last July when we, uh, uh, my boyfriend and I went away on holiday. Um, but yeah, so that's been a long time since I've last seen them, so I'm looking forward to that. And then we've got a couple of days, three days I think, down just myself and my mum and we're meeting up with one of my mum's friends as well while we're down there. So yeah, busy meeting with people that we haven't seen for a long time. Um, but also treating ourselves and there will be cocktails involved won't be getting well i can't speak for my mum if she wants to get drunk she can i won't be but yeah it would be nice just to get away so yeah i'll try and keep these updated on uh, instagram as to what's happening um and yeah take care and i will catch up with you all very very soon take care have a good one bye